Look, Johnny, up ahead on the left. There appears to be a filling station there. Oh, yes, no hurry. I've got a severe case of gastroenteritis, and I really need to find a loo. Yes, Johnny, please be patient. I'm sure they've got the loo, and I also need some more oh, petrol. Oh, it appears they only have one, one petrol pump. Oh, here comes the chap now. Okay, uh, well, you do the talking. Why, indeed, Johnny. You just relax. There you go, Bobbo. You heard that. Yes, I did. Now go wait on him. You know, that's the first ding ding in over two hours. And I've been chomping at the bit to use my grease monkey skills. Well, that's a good attitude there, Bobbo. And always remember, public relations and customers are always right. So that's a big 10 for there, Jimbo. Good morning, ma'am. How may I help you? Good morning, sir. I'd like to fill it up with your highest octane petro. Well, what's that? I reckon you mean gas. Well, there's only one octane we have here. That's like a mid-grade. Okay, fill her up. Oh, well, sir. So your name is Bobbo. Yes, it is. I once had a mate Hello, by Bobo. that name. Can you also check under the bonnet and check all the levels. And can you tell me where the loo is located? Oh, just a moment. I'll be right back. Hey, Jimbo. What's up, Bobo? Oh, these here folks, they got a weird way of speaking. How so, Bobo? The lady said check under her bonnet. Oh, she don't even have a is bonnet. That right? And then she said afterwards where the loo was located. <laughs> oh, Bobbo. Them people from England. Is that my uh, bonnet is the hood. And a loo is the toilet, okay? You got that? Well, okay then. Is there something wrong, young man? <laughs> no, but as soon as I'm done filling up here, I'm going to check under your loo. I beg okay? your pardon. And then, and then the bonnet is located around the side of the building there. Oh, this chap sounds utterly confused. Oh, you're quite right, Johnny, but not Doesn't unlike yourself. Me of a bad Benny Hill skit. Oh, I miss Benny Hill. Well, I don't. He was an absurd man. I do need Pepto. I'm going to the loo once again. Oh, close the door, Johnny. You pull that door. lever right there so I can look under your loo and check all your fluid levels. Loo? Oh, no, it's called a bonnet. So the bonnet is the hood. Th then I suppose a loo is the toilet? Yes, yes indeed, Bobbo. The loo is, as you Americans call, a toilet. Well, I kind of was confused here for a minute, but I think I got it Perhaps now. Perhaps an understatement. The loo is a toilet, and the bonnet is the hood. Hallelujah, and you've and got, got it. it. You're always good, ma'am. Oh, splendid. This Bobbo chap... He kind of reminds me a little bit like Johnny. I mean, it's like Johnny's doppelganger. A younger Yankee version. Oh, they're both so delightful and adorable. Oh, I'm back now. I need to seek out a good chemist and acquire some okay, Pepto. Johnny, please be patient. I'm sure Bobbo here knows the closest chemist shop. I certainly hope so. Back to the loo. I shall return. Close the door, Johnny. It's oh, printed out thing, there. Mr. Bobbo. Would you please let Eleanor know where the closest chemist could be found? Uh, chemist? Well, anyway, it's $36. No, here you go, Bobbo. Here's a $50 bank uh, note. A bank what? And please return with the directions to the nearest chemist. Chemist? We okay then. Hey, Jim, open the door. It's open. Man, Just it push it, freaking Bobbo. it's cold out here. Just push. I think it's, it's like open. 30 degrees. i got to talk to you again, Jimbo. The door's open, Bobbo. What's going on? Well, well, first of all, they left. Who did, Bobbo? I don't know where in tarnations they went to. A, a lady gave me what she said, a $50 bank note. Let's see that For $36 worth of gas. And then she said she wanted right, the directions right. to Calm the nearest chemist. The chemist. What in you the don't world say. would they want with a chemist? Oh, I, I see their car. Never mind. She parked over here. Okay, she okay. didn't Take tell it down, me. Bobbo. It's because this here fella, You're he's been pretty sick. Again, he's going Bobbo. in and out of the, of the loo. Mean toilet. Okay, just relax, Bobbo. Here, let me give you your change. Fourteen dollars. And when you see them, you just hand them their okay. change. Okay, I think I better go over there and check up on them and see they're okay. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh yeah, they're in the loo. I think the lady and she's waiting in the car. I see her over there. Well, she's getting down now. Me and the other door is closed. Well, just give her a change, like I said, and come wait in front. Well, then, okay. Bobbo, I think the chemist is a pharmacy, if I'm not mistaken. You mean the drugstore? And I know there's one up the block here on you the right. You reckon that's what she was there referring she to? Bobbo? 
Hey, Bobbo. Yes, ma'am. Can oh, I help you? Well, you have to forgive my husband. Ooh, Johnny. Um, he's been a little under the weather lately. Oh, don't worry about a thing, ma'am. The weather always changes here in Texas. Here's oh, your Bobo, change. Just keep four dollars and just dollars? let me have a ten back. And you can buy yourself a refreshment. A refreshment? A refreshment and sodas? Well, thank you there, ma'am. Looks so nice of you. Oh, you're quite welcome, Mr. Bobo. Hello? Johnny? Hello? Is there anybody in there? Oh, yes. Let out all the flatulence, Johnny. Oh, I feel much better now, Eleanor. But could you ask Mr. Bobo to please bring me another roll of blue paper? I seem to have run out. Oh, but of course I will, Johnny. Straight away. Oh, well, all right then.